We are going all out this Easter, as you can see, with my mini egg lemon curd sponge. I'm so excited to be working with I Love Cooking Ireland and we're so excited to be sharing this recipe with you all. I'm gonna show you just how easy this is to make. This is a very straightforward all-in-one sponge method. So into the bowl, you're just going to be adding in your soft room temperature butter, castor sugar, whole eggs, dash of vanilla, lemon zest, self-raising flour and finally baking powder. You're going to give this a good mix together until you have a nice smooth batter. Now I'm very simply just going to spoon this lovely smooth batter into my prepared 8 inch sandwich tins. I have just greased those with butter dusted them with flour. I've lined the base with a bit of parchment as well. I'm just going to spoon this batter in, spread it out evenly, and this goes into my preheated oven. Sponges are ready to go into the oven, which is preheated at 180, that's 160 fan Celsius, and these will take in around 30 to 35 minutes to bake. While our sponges are baking in the oven, time to make our delicious lemon curd filling. This is a really, really easy method. So into a bowl here, I'm adding in the castor sugar, lemon juice, eggs, and corn flour, giving that a mix through, and this gets set over a pot of gently simmering water, and we're gonna cook that over the heat until it thickens up. So my curd has been cooking now for about 10 minutes or so over the heat and as you can see has thickened up nicely. To my curd I'm just going to be adding in the butter and again with a hand blender I'm just going to blitz this till it's all nice and smooth. Once it's smooth I'm going to cover it with a layer of cling film, pop that into the fridge and allow it to set up. Sponges are baked, as you can see they have a beautiful light golden brown colour all over so I'm going to allow those to cool in the tin slightly for a few minutes before I turn them onto a wire rack to cool completely. To make this delicious buttercream that we're going to be covering our cake with, simply add your icing sugar to your mixing bowl. To that I'm adding in some soft room temperature butter and a good dash of vanilla. I'm going to give that a mix for about five to six minutes until it's nice and soft and spreadable. So that's all the elements of my Easter cake ready to go. I have my delicious sponges, my cooled lemon curd, which will be going into the center of the cake here, covering it and sandwiching it with this beautiful whipped vanilla buttercream, and of course, decorating it with tons of mini Easter eggs. And just like that, you have the perfect Easter cake. I hope this video has given you some inspiration to try this recipe out at home. And if you do try it out, please do let us know. Happy baking and happy Easter from myself and everyone over at I Love Cooking.